Welcome to episode 1194 of Love Served Care. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to share some more insights, some more thoughts from the retreat in Vancouver. And I'll get to the insights and the reflections from this BIPOC birthday bash, right? Our first year celebration. What an incredible night. As I'm pre recording that it happened. I already know what it is. I've already created it, and it's going to be magnificent. But I want to start off this episode with a quick acknowledgement for my son, AJ. And what I want to acknowledge him for is what a good and sweet and caring young man he is. What a really thoughtful leader he is. What a, what a powerful presence. What a force. When he's in the room, you know he's in the room. And he's just, just a... He's such a joy to watch like he just loves he feels deeply and the big difference that i see from myself right i I had a vision the other day i'm like oh my goodness i used to be in third grade and i was just looking i'm like yeah i was eight year eight years old once i was in third grade what did i do one time i mean big lies i i played small and he's not that at all So anyway, I wanted to share that because I love him and and I want to make sure he gets his props whenever I can give him. And here's something I shared or I wrote down on the first day of the retreat. So this is it. My intention for the retreat is to walk away knowing I'm the best speaker in the world. I'm locked in on being anchored to my message and expanding myself as a communicator. I'm here to learn and accept my greatness. My voice matters and my story is their story. I'm going to walk away with the tools to bring my fully expressed self to stages. Well, let me tell you something. I exceeded that expectation or that intention. And what's morphed into a commitment. And And I'm still playing with what that looks like and how it, and what that means and, and fully drafting it up right creating my own prototype and if you know anything about my story the prototype is is very important and if you have questions about that just reach out to me alex at abundancedaily.com or connect with me on linkedin at alex dumas and i'll be happy to tell you all about the prototype and and share with you that piece of writing that is influenced my life in a major way so i know i I shared a lot of different things i just want you to walk away with accept your greatness and remember these last three things that you are born to live your life in abundance you're the master of your future you control your freedom and you have complete dominance of your thoughts your emotions and your habits take care god bless stay blessed